Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Landstalker, The Treasures of King Knoll. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, after everything I've gone through, they better be some damn good treasures. I mean, my god. This is dangerous, for sure. Like, I don't even know how I'm gonna get this timing right. Oh, oh, I, I made it, but then I went back. Why did I go back? This does not even look straight! Oh my god. At least these parts are synch synchronous. Oh man. I I'm kinda scared of those platforms. They're gonna sink, aren't they? Oh no! I'm trapped in the fog chamber! Pardon my language, but that's what it is! Oh my god! Look at all that damage! And I was just making a mad dash out of here, and look what happens! Oh, God almighty! It's only gonna get worse from here. Don't get me wrong, I still love this game, but man! They're gonna make you work for it. Yep, they do sink, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, there's some treasure over there that I love to get. But, man, I know that if I drop where I'm going to go, is it even worth it? That's a good question. No, no! Oh, God, no! What the freak? I'm dead. And look at this. These ghosts are still trying to envelop my flesh. Oi. This is not even the last dungeon, and they're throwing the gauntlet at me. I've had to use up an Ikik. Just through death. What am I got myself into? Well, at least the Let's Play is going to get really good from now on, given the adversity. Okay, I think i got to be more patient for this. Okay, that works. Good, good, good. There. That'll make up for it. Well, let me go this way. Still a bit leery about that treasure chest. Is it possible to get? Oh god, diagonals. I mean, somebody made the comparison that this is like a Super Mario RPG. And I can't believe I missed that. I mean, I Let's Played Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars as a Christmas special a couple years ago. Like, maybe three years ago? I can't remember what year exactly. But anyways, I can't believe I forgot that. That game was mostly diagonals, even though you could go in all eight directions, unlike this game. But I can't believe I even missed that comparison. Can I get onto those platforms from that side? Yes. Okay. This part scares the crap out of me. Wait a minute. Can I do this? Yes, I can! But can I get back? Uh, let's try it. Nope! Here we go. Stop eating my butthole! That's awful! Again, I do apologize for that F-bomb. I rarely drop F-bombs unless I'm in major adversity, which was the case there. But I got a life stock, which is great. Wait, that last treasure was a life stock too. No, that was a key. No, wait, what I got earlier from those boxes that I had to put in the holes where this was the key. So I got two life stocks already. Seriously. This is crazy. Getting all this health, however, does feel like the ultimate misnomer, given that how much damage you take in a short period of time. Uh, I can't understand the perspective for the- Oh! Of all the angles I picked, it was the wrong one. Hey, Let's do this again. God, this is so frustrating. 
And we're not even at the end of the first half of this damn godforsaken ass rape dungeon! That's what it is! My god! We're not even at the first half, pretty much! I still need to find where this key has to go, for crying out loud. Jesus! Okay. Well, that did it for me. Okay, so it looks like the boulders are only going to be going on that side. So I guess I'm safe around here. Yes. Okay, get out of that damn death chamber. Hoy. I have a feeling it's only going to get worse from here, because this just seems like a big chasm. And there's many places I can just fall. Whoa! What the hell? Where'd you guys come from? Um... Can I drop that? Nope! Oh, come on! At least put some friggin' safety nets! This is so frustrating, because you mess up even once, you're backtracking all the way. This should be like an optional dungeon, not a mandatory one. Man, the difficulty just ramps right up. This makes for a very good challenge, I'm not gonna lie to you on that one. No, oh, I curved the wrong way! Oh my god! This is so bad! Well, my performance, yeah, it's bad. But come on, throw me a bone here. And it's not like there's like a difficulty that you can select. There's only one difficulty. And it just scales astronomically. Thank God I don't take fall damage, otherwise I'd have all my legs broke. Like, Nigel would just be a little crip. Then again, he's in his 80s, but elves... WHAT?! <sighs> Game? It was disappearing! Why was it still a threat? It didn't even roll! How can a static boulder hurt me? This game's starting to make little sense now. Mm. Uh, well, it made like 800 cents in the uh, Wii shop. If you get my drift. What was it like? Sega games were like 800 points? Same as uh, Super Nintendo games? Or was it 600? No, I don't think it's 600. It's been a while. What was the first Sega game that I got in the Wii Virtual Console? A Sword of Vermilion? I wanted to try it out. It was disappointing, but it wasn't terrible. These scum again. At least they die in one hit, so I got that going for me. Will I end up landing on this platform? Yes, okay. going here. What? Are you kidding? Oh, thank god I landed on something. Isometrics are the worst. I mean, ugh. too bad this game is a Sega Genesis game. You know, before, like, uh, adjusting your camera angles was a thing. We're making little progress here, and I climbed, like, a beside the ladder rather than on the ladder. That was weird. Hey, stop disappearing on me, you scum! I don't even know what's real anymore. It's like, you'd think it'd all be the same. Like, right here. Okay, that part makes sense. Uh, I wanna open that chest. Another livestock! They're giving you lots of health because you know you're going to be losing almost all of it when you fall in that death chamber. 
That's basically what the game is saying. So you better enjoy them now. Because you may not get another chance like this again. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Good question. Might as well take this path. Are you kidding me? Oh, this dungeon is the worst. There's gonna be worse than this, I can just tell. Like, it's also just gonna be all like one space jumps. Like, Land Kaizo, the treasures of King Assrape. Oh my god. I'm almost delving back to my old habits, like, before 2010 or 2011. When sailors are probably covering their ears watching my videos. But I gotta try my best to stay calm. Otherwise, my blood pressure is gonna reach the quadruple digits. Like, my veins are gonna be like old pipes. Ready to burst. That's not cool, guys. At least you're giving me money. That's all that matters. Lots of, lots of money. Okay, how do we do this? Missed the platform completely! Yep, that's how we're gonna do it. <sighs> they send you so far back, too. That's the worst part. And once you recover, I mean, you still gotta, like, avoid making even more mistakes that send you even further back. What? We've been doing this for, like, ten minutes now, and we're seeing this same room. Like, probably, like, ten or twelve times. <sighs> Boulder. Boulder! How does that work? Seriously. I'm questioning my own sanity. Part of me wishes to just redo this episode, but because I'm practically delving on the brink of insanity already, and apparently that gets you a fan base, I might as well just keep this going. Okay. When I jump from here, I missed it on the left side, so let's go right. Ah, doll. That's cool. Thanks. Alright, so the, the platform is going to appear on this side. Hardly anything feels real, but let's go. Am I trapped? Oh, just a bunch of skeletons. Oh, there are no consequences. I got a key. Yeah, I have to kill them all in order to progress. Uh, but I don't want to use that key yet. Let's just keep going. Oh, ninjas! And a mushroom guy. All right, we're out of here. Huh, another key. So I got two keys. Uh, yeah, let's use another e key. It's gonna get to the point where I gotta start using my dolls instead. Eh, I don't wanna use this key. Oh, wow! I get hit as soon as I walk in. Now I got gray cyclopses. At least they drop eight gold. Another treasure chest? <laughs> Another key! I'm gonna be upgraded to high school janitor at this rate. And we still haven't even checked out this door. I bet you there's gonna be another key. That's gonna be so hilarious. Oh my god. Unicorns and lizard men. Just a little bit of everything. Okay, how many keys do I have? Four? I know there was a locked door over there, but I don't want to check that out yet. Instead, let's backtrack. And I swear to God, if it's possible for me to, like, screw this up completely, and have to do even more backtrack... Oh, Pockets is here. I'm gonna be pissed. 
want to go there. We'll talk to him for a bit. Oh, ho it's me! I came down here to look for something nice. But I don't think there's anything here for me. Bye. Well, I'll take the livestock. A statue of Gaia. That's real nice. Well, that was actually cool. He left the room and you can actually see him still move. I thought as soon as he walked into that door, like, he would never see him again for the rest of the dungeon, but that's actually a very nice effect. To make it look like he's actually still moving. It's just the little things you notice. I mean, I give this game, like, a little bit of a hard rap just for this dungeon alone, but I still love the little things that they do for this game. Sure, the movement can sometimes make me nauseous, but still... Start putting these keys to use. Wait a minute, is this the room I'm thinking of? I heard that there was a room you're actually not supposed to kill enemies, but instead let them follow you. Oh! Well, they did their job, however, they gotta redo it. There! You actually weren't supposed to kill the enemies, like create that pot so they can follow you, step on that switch, which allows you to get up here. It's a bit of an asinine puzzle, but it works. You can't actually hit me from up here, can you? YOU CAN?! Oh, that's bullshit! Oh, Game, you're breaking my heart! Given all the health that I've, had, I've been wasting, you're breaking my wallet. Yeah, mind repair, that actually is something I need. Sweet mother of Moses on the roses. Okay, Niki, that helps. You're the one that hit me, so you gotta die. No, I think it might be one of you guys. Scumbags. Okay, that makes up for all the health that I lost. Huh, is this all just one room that I can go to? Or was there another one? I want to explore every crevice completely. Even though this game is starting to tear me a new crevice. Alright, alright, we can, we can go through here. Mind repair, I believe, is good for, like, mind alteration status ailments. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? So every time it hops, it creates an earthquake. Well, it, the earthquakes don't damage you, they just stun you. So I can just keep spamming my attack. Like, Olaf from the Lost Vikings is just out for my blood. And it drops 100 gold. What's this? Healing boots? Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, as I walk, I can gradually heal? So, you won't be needing e keeks as much, because you can just walk around and recover your health. I mean, yeah, it takes like several steps, and I think you have to actually be moving. Like, I'm just holding the movement button right now, and I'm not recovering any health at all. You have to actually be going around. Just take my sip of my coffee. It's still mildly hot. Okay, that was the last key. What else awaits me? Oh, I was wasting all this time and I could have fully healed anyway. Great. Alright, let's see what's beyond here. Ooh. What's this? Wait a minute, are we outside again? I wonder where this leads. Oh, leads to enemies. It's not really where I want to go, but... Hey. Well, getting the healing boots is actually pretty nice. So this will minimize some of the healing I require. Oh god, bubbles are green this time. Oh, damn. 
enemies are definitely getting tougher. Wait. You can't possibly hit me, but I can hit you. I want to be able to get up there somehow. Oh, but first, let me snag this. Game, you're just being too kind. Okay, I think I need to appear from the other side. From the mountainous area. I can't reach that from here, so let's leave that chest alone. Nothing of substance here. That's just a rock. I was thinking it was going to attack me. When you play this game a lot, you're entitled to be paranoid. Wait a minute, I was here before! Was I? Because this feels kind of the same. No. This is actually different. It just feels like there's so much here. Damn it. Nope, nope, this is a new area. I was getting kind of worried that I'd be backtracking for some bizarre reason. Find a way to get up there. I think I know how, but I gotta pull out that jump a little bit better. Yes! Good. Good, good, good. Now, let's do this. Perfect. Okay, these jumping puzzles are not bad because they don't send you to absolute pain and destruction if you mess up once. Oh! Well, that kind of does. No. There, put myself in a better position. Huh, I actually stealth that guy. What happens if I go down here? Um, let's check out this way first. If you're a mover and a shaker, find the goddess and wake her. That sounds kind of sexy. But, let's go through here. Uh, let's take the statue of Gaia first. <laughs> Another one. Get fully recovered. I did something over there. See what else I can find. You know what? I think now would be a good time to end the episode. And actually, before I go any further, I'm thinking of backtracking to where I saw all those platforms. I'm curious as to what's there. Because I feel like this is the way I have to go. But when I go down here, I could actually look around a bit. I think that's what I'm going to do first. Oh, nothing here. I might have created a monster. Yep, I gotta find that switch. God, I'm so curious. I feel like I want to explore more. This is so tangly. You know what? I should end the episode before I get lost. See everybody. Thanks for watching.